EcoCycle's Zero Waste video series. Last week we talked about what not to put in the recycling bin, and this week we're going to address some of the myths and misunderstandings we frequently hear related to recycling. Let's get to myth-busting, recyclers! The first myth slash misunderstanding is Recycling is a sham. It all gets thrown in the landfill, so we shouldn't even bother. The recycling industry is so key to our economy that it was declared an essential industry and service by the Department of Homeland Security. In 2017, this market was valued at about 265 billion US dollars in the US alone. By the year 2024, the market is expected to grow to about 377 billion US dollars, and it's a job maker. The recycling industry creates 10 times more jobs than landfilling. Recycling is real and it's here to stay. As always, check your local recycling guidelines to be sure what you're putting in the bin is actually recyclable. The second myth has to do with China not accepting recyclables from the US. Many believe that recycling isn't happening because China isn't taking it anymore. Starting in January 2018, China stopped importing recyclables from the United States. There were some recycling programs in the U.S. that relied entirely on sending their recyclable materials to China, and they were badly affected by China's new policy. But for the most part, recycling programs have survived, and they're using this as an opportunity to invest in generating even cleaner recyclables and building and strengthening local and domestic markets. So in the long run, that's all good news. Which brings me to the next myth. Just recycle everything and they'll sort it out. As we learned in video 4, How Things Get Recycled, we do have both machinery and human hand sorters to separate and sort each material at the recycling facility. However, the main task for those machines and folks is to separate one material from another. We get all the recyclables mixed together, and sorters have to separate out aluminum, cardboard, plastics, and so on. These sorters are not here to sort through garbage, as garbage mixed with recyclables is too filthy and hazardous to process and it destroys the value of recyclable commodities. If you have questions about contamination and which contaminants are the most harmful, you can watch the week five video, What Should We Keep Out of the Recycling Bin and Why? Here's another related myth. Landfills sort through all the garbage and they pick out recycling. They sure don't. In very specific cases, something super valuable like scrap metal may be picked out if it's convenient but it doesn't make financial sense for them to sort through it and it would be a huge health and safety hazard. Conversely, we know a lot of people are concerned about the next myth. If you put one contaminant in the recycling, the whole load will go to the landfill. We should all follow our local recycling guidelines, but one little mistake won't cause a whole load of recyclables to be thrown out. Contaminants do create a problem. Sorters have to pick them out and pay to landfill them. But if you accidentally threw a plastic bag in the recycling, it didn't cause your recycler to landfill an entire load. There are a few examples of contaminants that would cause a whole load to be thrown out. If a recycling truck driver is picking up a recycling dumpster at an apartment, for example, and sees that it's full of contaminants like diapers, syringes, other biohazards, perhaps some hazardous waste, the driver is not going to take that to the recycling center. So those contaminants may ruin other people's efforts to recycle. To learn more about how to avoid turning recyclables into trash, watch week 5's video, What Not to Recycle, on the most harmful contaminants. One of the biggest myths when it comes to recycling is, if an item has the recycling symbol on it, it means it's recyclable. We totally understand why you'd think this, and we wish it was that easy. The recycling symbol, the chasing arrows triangle, is a largely unregulated symbol, and anyone can slap it on their product without it reflecting actual recyclability. Like we talked about in our week three video, what can be recycled, recycling guidelines change from place to place because recycling infrastructure and recycling markets are different from place to place. Because of that, products really can't be universally labeled for recyclability. If your soda bottle is labeled with a recycling symbol, that doesn't mean it's recyclable where you are. Here's a big recycling myth. Recycling uses more energy and resources than it saves. Big nope. Recycling always makes sense, whether we're talking about saving water, energy, resources, or money. Recycling aluminum cans saves 95% of the energy needed to make new cans from raw materials. Recycling steel and tin cans saves 60-74%. to Recycling glass saves about 74%. And recycling paper saves about 60%. Based on EPA data, since 1970, the U.S. has recycled and composted over 2.3 billion tons of materials saving an estimated 4.5 billion barrels of oil, 
and reduced our carbon emissions by more than 5.5 billion tons of CO2, the equivalent of taking over 1 billion cars off the road for a year. If you want to learn more, watch our video, Why Recycle? Recycling is, and always will be, one important part of a zero waste community. We hope debunking these recycling myths helps you know why it's so important to keep recycling right. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.